For 90 days, your Missouri lawmakers returned to Jefferson City to debate new laws. Tonight, that session has some municipalities a little bit nervous. It's over a continued push to remove the state grocery sales tax. Missouri is just one of 13 states still taxing you to eat. Supporters say gutting the tax will reduce food insecurity. All new here at 6, First Lord Forrest David Amelotti looks into the concerns of eliminating the tax. In March, this Deerbergs and Crestwood opened up just across the street from a Schnooks on Watson, and then down west, there's an Aldi. Municipalities like this one across St. Louis County rely on your tax dollars on your groceries to operate. I'm told if those grocery taxes go away, local governments will be forced to pick between raising your taxes and cutting costs, and in most cases, that means cutting vital personnel. You can't just eliminate taxes and then uh, say, well, we're just going to do without those services. Pat Kelly with the Municipal League in Metro St. Louis says he has no issue entertaining removing the grocery tax in Missouri, but he doesn't understand passing legislation without a mechanism to replenish those funds. I think it's poor government. Take home groceries are taxed at just over 1% in Missouri by the state. The municipality can levy additional grocery sales taxes up to 8%. According to the state's note, local governments will lose $1.3 billion if grocery sales tax goes away. Plus, the state would lose $200 million annually. It's the services that people see every day. You know, their trash service, their police service, their fire service, their parks. And um, it's, it's, it's what it is. I mean, it's what funds those municipalities to be able to pro provide those services. In Crestwood, grocery stores generate $1.9 million each year. In an average year, that's about 15% of operating revenues. Crestwood City admin tells First Alert 4 voters might be asked to up property taxes, possibly double them, or accept having fewer cops and firefighters. We shouldn't be funding the needs of government on the backs of the working poor. State Senator Mary Elizabeth Coleman leads a charge to end this tax. The Arnold resident says municipalities have record revenues. In the Missouri Constitution, we have a prohibition on taxing necessities, yet we still have this tax in place. So it's high time that we get rid of this. She says the Wayfair fix, allowing taxation for online purchases, makes more than enough to counter the removal of the grocery tax. For an average family of four, that's going to work out to about $65 a month. Well, what they're going to do is they're going to go buy other things. They're going to buy a new Christmas present for their kids, for example. They're going to reinvest those dollars, and that's going to be taxed at a higher tax rate, which should more than offset in addition to the revenues that we've already seen increased. We are hearing from the Missouri Grocer Association. It says it supports eliminating the grocery tax, but wants to see the bill in writing first, especially because it says it doesn't want harm to the consumer, the grocery stores, or the municipalities where those stores are located. In Crestwood, David Amelotti, First Alert 4.